Hey everyone, my name is Michaela Snow, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this awesome, simple little DIY of these Tumblr and like Urban Outfitters pins. I was looking to buy some cool pins because I have so many sick jackets like that could be really improved upon by using some pins. But at all the little trendy shops and all the places that I found, they run about $12 or $13, some even $16 for a little pin to put on your jacket. And I'm sure someone who has a great job and someone who doesn't have student loans could totally rock those. But for me, I'd rather save me some bucks and make my own. So this is going to be a DIY to make these awesome little pins. I have so many more. These are just a couple of my favorites. We've got a little lion, which I am totally obsessed. I love little lions. And I have a little dancing girl emoji because she's just having a good time. I also have sparkly heart that you, like, you really love someone. And then I have the other flower emoji that's just really cute and fun. <laughs> Alrighty, so the first thing you want to do is find your shrinky dink paper. Although I'm showing you me drawing my shrinky dinks while this is happening. <laughs> Anyways, to find my shrinky dink paper, I first looked on Amazon and there it was just like a couple bucks, but I wanted to do it like today, today. So I went to Walmart, it was not at Walmart, and then I went to Michaels and it was at Michaels. Good, because I love Michaels. So at Michaels, it's an aisle four, I don't know if that's the same for everyone, but it's at the front where the scrapbooking stuff and little stamps and stuff are. There's a really odd place for it to be, but <laughs> that's I guess where they keep it. And so that's where I got my shrinky dink paper. Alright, and so then what you want to do is draw out all of your shrinky dink ideas, because it'll just make the process go so much smoother. So I drew inspiration from this coloring book that I found at Michael's also. I had a 50% off coupon, so it was only like two bucks. And I just traced over those, the pizza and the hamburger and the ice cream cone and stuff. And so you can trace out of like books or drawings or you can just print out pictures. That's what I did for all of the emojis. I just went to stickeremojis.com and I got my emojis from there. And then I also went to like Urban Outfitters and like Tumblr images where you just see all these trendy ideas and you're like, I want to be trendy too. So I also drew inspiration from Tumblr, Urban Outfitters and PacSun and Zoomies and all these little places that sell little pins like this and I was very inspired by them. I use and so that's basically it. So you just want to draw everything, anything you can think of. Mine were a lot of things that already exist in the world but you can also just draw out your own creations. And I also wanted to do a Zia symbol but I just lost track of time because <laughs> I want to get this video out as soon as I can since I've been slacking so hard on making videos just like with work and everything going on. It's hard but you know I love you guys and I love making videos so I want to try my best to continue that. I forgot something again with the drawing. <laughs> So for my drawings, I did Sharpie black on one side to outline it, but then I flipped over the shrinky dink and colored it in, and so that made it so I could color and touch the black, but my pen wouldn't bleed into the black and like smear it everywhere, and so that was really nice. So I could just have like a nice little whoosh, 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 and not worry about getting black everywhere or mixing colors or anything. Alrighty guys, so the next thing you want to do is cut out all of your little shapes from your shrinky dink paper, and that sounds pretty easy, but it's kind of awkward because you don't want to snip with the edges on the paper because it'll create this like little cratery dot and it'll like spread cracks so you really want to make sure you're like cutting over here like you would wrapping paper to get those nice edges so it's not too bad and really it's not too important that everything's perfect you know so just try to cut all those out and it's really okay you could even just do like little squares if you don't want to have to do all the intricate little things doing every little shape but it's easy once they're like that big size so it's it's really up to your judgment whatever you'd like to do however you'd like to cut them out alrighty so now that everything's cut out and you're all done and you have it exactly how you want it you're gonna want to place them out into a little sheet pan. I just use like a little regular cooking pan that would fit in my convection bake oven. A little one that kind of looks like a little microwave but it's an oven because they don't want to have to heat up the whole oven just for these little plastic things. So I just followed the directions that came on my shrinky dink package and mine said to do my oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit and then to cook them in there for three minutes. So that's what I did. I was really worried of them like shrinkling up and touching each other. So I found that I just wanted to do four in each pan because that's kind of how they fit perfectly since my designs were like a 3x3 three three kind of size. <laughs> and so I placed four of them in a pan and I stuck it in the oven for three minutes. Be sure to watch them to make sure that they're doing okay, that they're not, I don't know, having a party without you. <laughs> so just stick them in the oven and let them be for three minutes and then get your oven mitt and grab those puppies out. So right after you grab them out of the oven, you want to squish them down with something that won't burn your hands. So I just used like a little notebook that I had on the table and squished them down to make sure they weren't like like this because one of them came out like this I made a monkey that looked like this and I didn't end up keeping him because he was curved like this also he's purple <laughs> and so you want to flatten those out to make sure they're all good and perfect all right so I forgot to say something with the cooking so when you put it down you can use 
either use parchment paper or <laughs> aluminum sheets. But when you use the aluminum sheets, the little dots that are on the aluminum, you can see them on the back. So you want to make sure you're facing your designs upward and not having any of that trouble. And then also, you want to make sure you're facing it upward on the parchment paper as well because it'll kind of do like little lines instead of the dots. So it was a struggle, but make sure they're facing up and they'll be fine. Anyways, so the next step is to paint the back of your pins white. I did this on, I think, all of my pins just because it gave it like a little nice background. And also, if you use a clear shrink eating paper like I use, you can see the pin on the other side. So you want to make sure you paint that white so you can't see through it. Or if you're using the white one, don't bother. It's fine either way. But I painted it all white. I was also going to use black, but it doesn't turn out too well. And as you can see on my pins, on the back side where the white is, you can see how the color kind of transferred through. Like the little ink is weird on the other side. And that is because I bought 50 cent acrylic ink from Walmart. So <laughs> you could probably use a higher grade paint and it won't do that, but I'm not for sure because I only use the 50 cent kind just for those. <laughs> but you could also paint like black on the back pink on the back, whatever you want to do on the back. I also did yellow nail polish on the emojis that I did, but I didn't really like how those turned out, so I didn't, I'm not wearing them, but that's whatever. <laughs> Anyways, so these are my hollow pins, and I absolutely adore this guy right here, this little unicorn. He's really cute, and so I did the same for these guys, except for I just covered the front of them in hollow nail polish to save them, because they wouldn't have looked this rad without it, and I mean, hollow just makes everything better. <laughs> what step are we at? Oh, the pins, the pins, the pins. So you can use whatever kind of backings you'd like. You could even just hot glue these suckers right onto a jean jacket if you feel. I don't know if that would stick, but it's possible. <laughs> so here I'm just hot gluing my little pin backs to the back of the pins. And so I just put a little hot glue on the back of the little pokey part, stuck it on the bottom, held it down with my fingers. Be careful, don't burn yourself if you're using hot glue. And I just held it down until it was dry and I kind of stuck the pin back on there. I noticed on thicker fabrics the pins work a lot better. Like this one had no problem with the pins. But things like this really thin camo. I had to kind of like put tape in there and wrap it around the pokey part and then like stick the pin on the thing just because it was like thicker so it held better. But do whatever you find and try. it's all just a learning experience for all of us. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also if you guys decide to make these pins or do like little belated Christmas gifts to any of your friends at school or anything be sure to send me pictures. Post them on Instagram and tag me at Michaela dot snow so I can see your guys creations and I could like them up and reply and comment to you guys because I just love seeing something that I've helped inspired like I've pulled this idea down from the internet and I'm pulling it to myself and then I'm pulling it to you and we could just all have really cool Tumblr pins isn't that the whole point of the internet sharing and creating even if it's the same idea <laughs> anyways guys I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day I love you so much and I'll see you later Bye! Oh, oh no, was that there the whole time? Alrighty, so these ones I have on my army, like, kind of like jackety thing. I got this jacket from Forever 21, which will be a common theme. The one I have on this jacket is the Not Your Babe, the Your Mom pin, a mom pin, and a cute little peach emoji. Alright, so the pins, we've got a little lion, and I have a little dancing girl emoji because she's just having a good time. Sparkly heart that you, like, you really love someone. And then I have this cute little flower. And also this jacket is actually, I'm pretty sure it's for my grandma. She was having a garage sale, and I snatched it up because it's like a legit jean jacket and it's really antique -y and just like vintage and I really love it. Alrighty, so on this Marine Air Force jacket that I have from, and it has a cute little donut one that reminds me of like The Simpsons, melting cheese pizza, a little Tabasco bottle that says you're hot. One of my favorites is actually this hamburger. I really like that. I think Christine from Symbolia Neological would really like one of these pins. Oops, my ghost upside down. <laughs> so these are connected to my dad's old Levi shirts that I've been stealing. <laughs> just like the really worn out ones that I have a bunch of sleet holes in the sleeves and are just all tangled up and love to do DIYs in. And actually, the inspiration for this video was originally going to be doing a bleached jean shirt like this. Can you see it? I got sidetracked by all the fun pins that it kind of turned into not a Tumblr DIY outfit and kind of just into pins and pins and pins. But so I just put a little bleach on this shirt with a little spongy thing and I wrote out be rad not sad because that's something that I kind of, it's kind of like my mantra in a way, but something I just think about all the time to like, you know, life is so short, like it could end any moment. In two minutes I could be dead. Let's hope I'm not, but I could be. So I just 
you gotta remember that life's hard, but I mean, we only get one, so why be sad when you can be rad? <laughs> anyways, before I start crying over my dumb t-shirt, anyways, another quote that I really wanted to do, maybe I'll do it on the next one, is be at peace, not in pieces. That's another one where, like, my little mantras are saying that I really stick to. <laughs> you know, because why be in pieces when you can be at peace? Also, I think this is an Ellen DeGeneres quote. I found it. Okay. Why do we only rest in peace? Why don't we live in peace too? If you, I don't know if you could see it. Our little alien that I really messed up. A little alien spaceship with rays of light coming down. A little cactus. A supreme pizza with lots of pizza on it. Because pizza's relatable still, right? Hopefully. <gasps> what if pizza becomes unrelatable? Also, I tested out doing a top coat of nail polish and I didn't like that result. And also, it's peeling. Also, you don't need to wear five of these on a jacket at once. You know, you could wear just one or maybe two. I'm like, I'm gonna take off this dancing girl since she doesn't really fit my theme. <laughs> 